What's up folks, and welcome back to my Let's Play series for the Outer Worlds. In this episode, we're going to be taking on a faction mission for the Iconoclast. What we have to do here is find a person named Carlotta, and she's going to try and hook us up with some printing press rollers. Hope you enjoy, and please remember to like and subscribe. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Everybody here looks wore out. Just me. A Manta Queen. Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. So what do you teach here? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? Hiram needs you to stop using Devil's Peak. Stop? No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. Your broadcasts aren't working. No one is listening. I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, but... Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely? You're only transmitting on a single radio frequency and very few people can actually receive it. Uh, excuse me. I'm from Edgewater on Terra 2. If you'll pardon my saying, nobody I know has ever heard of you. All the more reason to double down on our efforts. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now is the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Sounds fair enough to me. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Where is this supplier located? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Huxley, the runner from the northern ruins? I helped her get out of there. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... Tone deaf. All right, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying... I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, 
If you need me, I'll be in triage. It definitely appears as though this faction here is struggling, so if all possible, we want to try and get the medicine. What's the point of printing out all those things if you're dead, right? So I think that what we have to do is focus on survivability, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Another interesting thing is that they're trying to convert from radio to print. In my opinion, that's going backwards. Oh, we got enemies. At this point in the game, we actually don't do too much looting anymore. At the beginning, we were kind of desperate to get better weapons, but right now, I think we're pretty much kitted out. And obviously, we could use more, but at the end of the day, I think we have like 8,000 bits, so that'll go a long way. What I'm more curious about is how do we upgrade our weapons at this point? Are there Mark III weapons? Is that even a thing? Because if it's not, then we have to actually tinker, and that's going to be very, very, very expensive. Where the real power boost is going to come from is getting to level 22 and start unlocking some of these high level perks because that's going to really put us over the top but you can never go wrong with having better weapons I guess. We're getting super close to where we need to be. And there's someone standing right there. Doesn't appear to be hostile though. Excuse me but this area is off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. What's going on here? We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Well, I'm actually supposed to meet someone here. That's what. Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. Soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. Why are you after her? You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. I need to get inside. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? You're here for Carlotta? I get it. I'll offer, you get paid, we all go home with a win. Hell, I ain't gonna pass up free bits. Make it painful. I mean, are you really that dumb? Alright, I'll take it. But is she gonna let us in? That's the real question. She's probably not gonna trust us. Relax, the sublight squad is all gone. Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you anyway? I'm six. Graham sent me to collect the supplies. Awesome. Finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Okay. What do you have for us? I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Why did Sandra ban you from working with the Iconoclast? You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Why have you been helping Graham then? It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. So you're basically saying they have no supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Zora suggested extra food and medicine. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Nah, we'll never get eaten. Trust me. Let's do a quick loot. Eh, not the greatest. 
Alright, please give me something good. What the hell is that? Dead Eye Assault Rifle? Oh shit. Never seen one of those before. And a plasma carbine. Alright. Let's go back to Graham and give him the good news. I I'm real sorry about your friends, Nyoka. Ain't no one deserves to go like that. Certainly not folks just trying to get by. Thanks for saying that. You know, after seeing so many people get chomped, trip into sulfur pool, shot by marauders, I always figured we'd die young. But just because you expect it doesn't make it any easier. Oh, shit. Next chance we get, I'm buying you a spectrum bottle so we can proper drown this melancholy. Oh, I didn't get a chance to try spectrum when we went out drinking. Is it any good? It is, without a doubt, the worst, most foul liquid mankind has ever had the misfortune to invent. You'll love it. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. I got your rollers. The rest of your account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? She isn't. Sandra has declared a stop sale on goods to the Iconoclast. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sandra, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... We will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony.